Hey guys, how we doing? This is Aaron, and uh, today I'm going to show you a new plugin that I developed called Simple Stems, which is based on uh, a new technology, fairly new technology for source separation, which means uh, decomposing audio into its constituent sources or stems, right? So uh, bass, drums, piano, vocals, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we're going to talk some more about the technology and some of the limitations, but first let me just show you a couple examples. Uh, so this first one is Janis Joplin from 1969, and we're going to pull out her vocals. Okay, Janice. Uh, I love that track. So she has a very distinctive voice, uh, and it's fairly easy to pull out a track like this because there is bass and guitar and drums behind her, but it's all still fairly minimal, right? So what happens when we suddenly get a crowd? What happens when we have more background noise? What happens when we have more instruments? Uh, we do start to bump into limitations eventually, but not right away, right? So let me show you. This is another example, um, the notorious Mary J. B. from uh, last year's halftime show. Um, we're gonna pull pull out her vocals as well. You ready? Broken heart again, another lesson learned. You better know your friends, or else you will get burned. Gotta count on me, cause I can guarantee that I'll be fine. All right, that's pretty amazing, right? You can hear <laughs> hear what it would sound like if she was just singing to an empty stadium, which I, I kind of think is cool. Uh, okay, before we go any further, I think I should uh, show you how I'm doing this, show you the plugin, show you how it works real quick. So here is Simple Stems. In this case, I'm running it as a standalone, though uh, you, if you download it, you get a standalone, but you also get um, plugins, you get a VST3 version, you get an audio unit version, and an AAX version uh, for both Mac and Windows, by the way. And here is some stuff I'm testing. I'm going to delete this. Here's some stuff I'm testing, and I'll show you real quick how we go about using it. It is really the simplest thing in the world. You take a song that you want to split. I'll do Lizzo again. And you just drop it on there. You wait. It takes about 10 seconds for every recorded minute. A little bit more if you're doing more than two stems. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Oh, and there we go. So on the top, you'll see we have the vocals, instrumental down here. Double check it. Uh, and now all you got to do is bring up your recording uh, software of choice, DAW, as they call them. And uh, here's the file. Drag it right in. And there we go. While that loads, uh, I should show you, too, that down here it has created, right next to the audio, it will create a stems folder. And it'll put uh, all the stems right in there for you for easy access later. Okay, so let's talk tech and uh, some of the limitations of this technology. So I mentioned this is fairly new stuff. This plugin uses a library by a company called Deezer, which has a uh, algorithm called Spleeder. Really ridiculous names, but it's a it's a French company. Basically, it's the French version of Spotify, uh, and they used their massive catalog to train an artificial intelligence machine learning um, system to do this separation. Right? Woo! Blows my mind. It's all out of my above my pay grade. You know, I don't really get it, but as a lowly plugin developer, I can take their algorithm and I can put it into a plugin, which is what I've done. Now, it was written first in Python, so you'll see it uh, already all over the internet, right? On websites like this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Uh, you can upload a song and it will email you the stems. Now, there's a, a vigorous debate online about which of these websites is better. I think they're probably all using the same algorithm, so I think they're all the same. But, you know, the debate continues. Uh, my plugin, by the way, also using the same algorithm, as I said. So it's a new technology. It's going to develop as it gets better. Uh, we're going to get better right along with it. And you'll see, I'm sure this plugin will be updated a dozen times in the next, you know, year. So uh, some of the limitations, uh, we'll look at this in a minute. But some of the limitations are around, um, well, one, horns. It's not very good with horn sections. Right. Two, it's not very good with heavily processed stuff with like a lot of reverb and things like that. It tends to get lost in the effects. Uh, three, it's it can get rid of crowd noises, but if the crowd's loud enough 
or if the instruments are in a similar space, a similar timbre, similar pitch range, you'll hear audio will occasionally drop out. And then four, there's like some phasing artifacts, uh, which is a little more complicated to dis to explain why those uh, exist, but they're easy to hear. If you if you think of like a guitar phase pedal, it's the same thing, right? People describe it as a jet engine or like a Doppler effect, uh, easily heard on cymbals. So we'll. Um, Here's a quick example. I'm going to show you all of that. So this is from the same um, show, the 2020 halftime show. This is Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg earlier in the show. Uh, and we're going to hear what it would sound like if they were <laughs> rapping to an empty stadium. Uh, and then um, and then you'll notice, so you'll hear the original recording, then it'll drop out. You'll just hear uh, Dre uh, rapping a little bit, and then you'll hear just the instrumentals, which in this case is a bass and some drums. And uh, we'll replay it here. Listen to this. Now let me welcome everybody to the wild, wild west A state that's untouchable like Elliot Ness <laughs> My favorite part of this clip, by the way, is Snoop Dogg just dancing there. Especially when you kill the vocals, right? We kill all the audio, and there's Snoop just kind of... <laughs> uh, here's some more rapping. We in that sunshine smoke, but a bomb ass can't be A place where you never find a dead slow in D here's some other fools dancing again um all right so when the when we drop out the rapping and you just hear the uh just hear the the drums and the cymbals you can hear the sort of like doppler effect on the cymbals here it is again right it's not chick 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 it's more like a right like it kind of moves around in a weird way that's phasing you get a lot of that um, especially on drums, especially on white noise type stuff, cymbals, that sort of thing. So that's where you start to come into the limitation, it, especially on a live show like this where you got crowd noise to deal with too. If you have cymbals on an otherwise clean take, uh, a lot of times you don't get the phasing, which is really nice. So I got just one more example for you. This is, um, who is this? This is Juice World, uh, who passed away in 2019 from an overdose, but he's a rapper from Chicago right here where I'm from. Uh, and he's doing a really good job uh, this is one of the last things he did with uh, he did with Eminem. He was on an Eminem album, and here's them rapping. He's a very fast rapper, so I thought, man, if I could like pull out those fast Spitfire vocals, I would love to do that. Um, so here's that example. Dealing with the venom and eliminate him. Other words, I'm enemy. I don't want to hurt him, but I did him in a vitre rage. I'm murdering again. Nobody will have him. All right. So hear how clean that instrumental was there. I dropped the. After the after the initial part there, we listen to just the instrumental. So listen to this. That's pretty clean. You can hear a little bit of the phasing, but you know it's not bad. It's usable. Uh, and then here's just the rapping. Percentity, motherfucker, you better duck. You finna be dead the minute you're running into me. A hundred percent, you was a fifth of a percent of me. I'm about to fucking finish you, bitch. I'm available. You wanna battle? I'm available. I'm blowing up like an inflatable. I'm undebatable. I'm unavoidable. I'm unavailable. I'm on the toilet. All I got a trailer full of money, and I'm paid for. I'm not afraid to pull them. Oh man, man. So yeah, you can see why I wanted to grab these samples, right? We. If you pull out just the rapping, you could reuse that over a different beat or whatever else, because like, it's very charged, very rhythmic. And then you can also like hear every word, crystal, crystal clear. Really nice separation, right? Really nice separation. This is on something that's you know in the studio though. So these sorts of studio recording recordings that are clean, where everything's you know very separate. That's where it does a really good job separating things. So anyway, that's it. Come check out the plugin. Cheers. <laughs>